A London research firm just published a report saying there's an increasingly credible probability of a global crisis peaking in 2027, centered on China invading Taiwan to control the chips that make AI possible. I personally think maybe they should just try asking nicely and saying please first, but uh, what do I know? Meanwhile, Elon Musk is acting like he's finally reached his terrible twos by demanding $1 trillion and threatening to withhold his robot army unless shareholders give him strong influence over it. Google proved quantum computing is real 13,000 times faster than the world's most powerful supercomputer. Glad it wasn't only 12,000 times faster. That would have been a disaster up there with burning my grilled cheese sandwich the other night. And SoftBank just approved another $22.5 billion for OpenAI, but only if they go public first. That's right, they'll need uh, OpenAI to go public first so they can make more money uh, off of them because their shares will be more uh, valuable. It's kind of like saying, I'll marry you, but only if you sign a prenup and get a full STD panel first. This brings SoftBank's total bet to $30 billion on a company that won't be profitable until 2029, if then. Welcome back to the 2027 arms race, where everyone's sprinting towards artificial superintelligence while two nuclear powers prepare to fight over the island that makes the chips. It's like a game of musical chairs, except the music is air raid sirens, and the chairs are booby-trapped. Before we dive into the apocalypse, uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button below and subscribe. Now, don't subscribe again if you have, then that'll unsubscribe you. I'm still in YouTube's doghouse, if you care, and every, every like tells the algorithm that Uncle Rod deserves another chance. Poor Uncle Rod. Plus, it makes me feel a little better about, you know, documenting civilization's collapse. Be sure to share this with someone who needs to understand why their electricity bill is about to fund World War III.